All right, carrying on. We have, I call this salt pepper carpet. I see it in a, a lot of properties being sold. It's not brand new, but it's in pretty good shape. And here we are overlooking the living area and go into the first bedroom on the left. You can get a view of the hill across the way and a closet. Ceiling fan in here. If I didn't show that, I apologize. Got a linen closet straight ahead. And here appears to be the master. Has a walk-in closet. Bathroom has two sinks. Full tub. It needs a little cock touch up. And a water closet. Looks like they've updated the doorknobs to an oil or a bronze style. We have two, another bath. Let's do that first. Oops, sorry about the light. White tile. Looks like the original sink from when they built the home. Here's a bedroom with closet. And the final bedroom with a small closet. Walking out the back door from the kitchen area. There's the vent for the uh, fireplace. A little bit of lawn. They haven't been watering, and it would be nice if they did. So, sitting area. I'm going to back and get a look at the back of the house. It actually appears to be in better shape than the front. So, looks like that little bit of trim is not beyond something that can be fixed. So, anyway, uh, if I were to make a comment about that radon mitigation system, they're really common here in Colorado. I'm finding that probably 80% uh, of the homes, uh, when they're tested for radon, test positive. And so it's becoming something that we see in a lot of homes these days, and the new ones are being built with the systems built in. So anyway, if you have questions about that, let me know. This is 9574 Box Den Drive. It's a Littleton address. I consider it uh, Roxborough, the neighborhood. Um, this is actually a fairly quiet street. It's not a shortcut to anywhere. <laughs> this house is missing some of the trim near the roof and there's some damage to what's left behind. I'm not sure what that's about, but it really ought to get fixed. Not a major thing. It looks like the, the coating on some of the uh, uh, trim boards is coming off. Things like that will show up in an inspection as well. Let's take a look around the other side. The drainage looks good on this home. Has a radon mitigation system. That's what that uh, motor and pipe is coming out of the window well. Has a sprinkler system. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here's the floor in the, when you first walk in the front door, you're greeted by the, the living room. Stairway with balcony up to the second floor. Has a vaulted ceiling starting at about maybe 10 feet at the low wall. And uh, going on up to clear for the second floor. Here we're headed into the family room, which has fireplace. Looks like a little nook for media center. Sorry about the spinning. Updated kitchen. 
These look like a cherry stained maple. Tall cabinets on the uppers. A little bit of wear and tear on the oven and it doesn't match the microwave or refrigerator but most of it is stainless. It is a granite top it appears. Yep. And from the kitchen Straight ahead is the door to the garage. To the right is a powder. Uh, looks like a slate tile on the floor. Nice color choices. The garage, the light isn't working. And nice to see in this neighborhood that the concrete is in good shape. It looks like a standard micro oversized two car garage. Here's the laundry, same floor throughout. They may be including the, huh, an interesting machine. So we'll get to the backyard shortly. Let's head upstairs. No, let's head downstairs first. Let's do it different. So I. The Berber carpet in the stairway is showing some wear. We have an unusual platform here. And I, yeah, it was added because the first step on the stairway doesn't match. I think it has to do with the radon mitigation system. I'll bet you that's an access to it. So, um, yeah, there's an electrical there for it as well. Um, there's hidden storage underneath the, the stairway. There's your main water shut off and, and whatnot. Um, and here we have the unfinished part of the basement. Uh, can't find a light switch, sorry. Nice to see that the foundation's in good shape. And the reason I'm saying that is that this neighborhood has a reputation for having expansive soils and a lot of foundations blowing up and needing to be repaired. Um, I will note, okay, they have excess line set, so it does have air conditioning, standard efficiency, furnace, water heater, and a crawl space that's got a vapor barrier and is insulated. It does have CPVC piping. People have mixed opinions about that. Um, I will leave that to the inspector to comment.